guess what? I have a big garage sale haul for you. Are you ready? Let's get started. As I mentioned in my last video, it is garage sale season in Ohio in full swing. So I have represented here on my table three garage sales and I want to show you what I got. The first item I was very tickled to find. This is some Barbie doll furniture for my granddaughter for her birthday and it was one dollar. Now my friend Melody said that this was worth a lot of money so I didn't actually look it up. Let's just open the bag and see what's in here. Okay this must be some kind of set here. I have a little teddy bear and then look how adorable this is. It looks like a little changing table with a mobile on top. The mobile has stars and the moon. How cute is that? My granddaughter is going to love this. And then this, I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like a very flat sofa <laughs> or some kind of dog bed. I don't know. Oh, wait, it's a baby theme. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I was going to say it could go on top of the changing table, but I don't think so. And then this, hmm, what is this? Boy, I'm not very good at figuring this out, and I used to love Barbie. So what is this? Anybody know? Maybe it's a bench, but I don't know. Gosh, I don't know. Anyways, that was a dollar. So this is all for my granddaughter. And then I, I love grab bags and I got this grab bag for 50 cents and the thing that I bought it for is the Rubik's Cube. These really sell right away in my booth even if it's like a keychain that has a Rubik's Cube. So this looks like a really nice one and it actually says Rubik's.com on it. So I don't think it's a knockoff one. It's really nicely made and none of the colors are coming off. So that's what I bought it for. And let's see what else I got in here. Hmm. This is some kind of beauty product. Oh, it's a lip smacker. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to want to buy that used. But the container is kind of cute. It's a little piggy. And then there's some kind of maybe bracelet that's one of those fidget tools or fidget toys that's kind of cute my granddaughter might want that this is a little makeup bag and these i thought were very interesting so it's a little record it's it says vinyl on it sunset records and they're the little tiny ones let me turn it around and this says, Too Hot to Handle by the Nostalgics. This is Apollo, no marks on the table. They're all by the Nostalgics. So I don't know anything about this. Or, and who are the Nostalgics? So if you know anything about these, I would love to know. I have a feeling my friend Melody will know because she is into records. And then these... Look like some more cute little bracelets. So like I said, I wanted it for the Rubik's Cube. So anything else I get out of that is a bonus. I'll sell what I can out of that. And if there's something I don't think will sell that my grandkids might want what, might want what, <laughs> then I will give it to them. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this little honey keeper. Oh, I think it's so cute. It says Honey Miel, M-I-E-L, and I especially love the top, the little knob, I guess you would say, and I forget what these are called. Um, honey stick or no, honey dipper. Look how cute it is. It's got a bumblebee on top. I just think this is darling. And that was 50 cents. This will be going in my booth. No markings on the bottom. But what do you think of that? Isn't it sweet? <laughs> no pun intended. And then I picked up this trinket box. I just thought this was lovely. And the thing inside, 
A lot of times when you get those little trinket boxes, there'll be a little figurine inside. This says made in China on the bottom. And this was 50 cents. So that will be going in my booth. And then I got this little grab type baggy thing here. All of this was 50 cents. And I think maybe I took it out of the baggie to make sure it didn't get broken. But it's angel themed. Oh, these are darling. I forgot about these. I think I did look at them. They're Christmas tree ornaments. Let me see if I can show the color. It's showing up white, but there's actually, there, the little detail on that is blue. It looks almost like a handmade ceramic piece, but I don't know. And then there's a yellow one and a pink one. What do you think? Are those hobbyist ceramic pieces? And then also in this grab bag was this beautiful ornament. Angel theme. Isn't that pretty? I love that shell type that it's made out of. Okay, all of that was 50 cents. I found this for my grandson. He loves Among Us. And I found this plushie. And they only charged me a quarter for this. So if you have no idea what this is, I know it looks really weird, but look up Among Us and they come in all different colors. So these are really pricey. I have bought them before brand new on eBay. And I think 20, 25 bucks for just a little thing like this. So for a quarter and it's perfect, it's white and there's not a speck of dirt on it. So I was really impressed with that. So that was all from the one garage sale. And then the second one, I only scored two items and I broke one of them. So let's talk about that. First of all, I will show you this little bag. Does this ring a bell with anybody or does anybody know what might be in here? I actually used to wear this perfume. It's a perfume. And let me take this out here. I think there was a date on this. It's just a little piece of paper. It says a gift selected for you at Kaufman's and it's dated June 26th of 1981. So that's very vintage, but it's white shoulders and the bag says the Baron available in cologne, aftershave, splash and soap. That's your Eve Evan. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's just a little advertisement. Oh, I bet it was, hmm, I bet it was a little smelly good thing. But that was slipped down inside the bag. Now you can see, but it says white shoulders, and here's the emblem. So I would love to know down in the comments if any of you wore white shoulders or your mom or grandma or whatever. But it's brand new not used and then there's a little powder look how cute it is and the last item is a soap so the problem is I pulled it right out of my hatch and this went flying and as you can see I cracked the lid but I noticed if I hold it together tight you can't really see the crack so I'm wondering if I should try to repair that with some glue I don't know Vintage cologne. So that will be going into my booth for sale with or without the crack. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And then the other item I found at that garage sale, I don't know if I can sell or if I must keep because I love these. Look how cute these candles are. Oh my goodness, I love them. They look they just look adorable. They kind of look mid-century modern to me. What do you think because of that top thing and just the look of the Santa? Let's see. These were just made in China, so they could be vintage. I'm going to take these out and show you. Do I dare take them out, though? They're taped shut. I don't want to break them. I've had some mishaps with candles lately. I've broken them. I've gotten them melted and didn't realize it. These look to be in pretty good shape. Oh yeah, look how cute. They look to be in perfect shape. I just love that top on it. <laughs> so 
So you can vote in the comments below. Should I keep them or should I sell them? I haven't decided yet, but I do love those candles. And then the other grudge sale I went to, the third one, I only bought one item and I'm pretty excited about it. It's my favorite item of the haul. Check this out. It's a lunch box. It says on it, Mickey Lunch Kit. Lunch time turns into fun time at home and away. I did look this up and I got put a pretty good deal on it, I would say. Look inside. Let's see if there's a year. Uh, it just says the Walt Disney Company. Look how cute the thermos is. There's all different Mickey faces, which I love. They're not all the same one. And then I'll just show you the inside of the lunch box. And I got this for $10. I just really love Mickey and Disney. Everything Mickey and Disney, Disney in general, but especially Mickey. So I have not decided whether this will be going in my booth for sale or not. I have some time to think about it though. It says on the bottom, Aladdin Industries Inc. The Walt Disney Company. So that is definitely my favorite item of the haul. And I was pretty tickled with these candles, the Santa candles. I love picking up gifts, so I love the Among Us plush. And I just realized I forgot an item, which I do when I have a whole table full of stuff. I also got this at the very first garage sale, and it's marked $3. And on the back it says, one leaf is for hope, and one is for faith, and one is for love. You know, and God put another one in for luck. And then it says, it looks like 1984 to me. And it looks like G-E-R-T-Y, Gertie. That's what I think it says. And I said, would you be willing to go any lower on that? And they said, how about two? And I said, sure. So that's going to go in my booth probably for St. Patrick's Day, if not before. So I really like that too. I would love to know in the comments below what your favorite item is or items if you want to tell me more than one. And have you been out garage sailing and have you found any wonderful treasures that you want to share in the comments below? That's it for today's haul. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <music>